Hi, my name's Lance and I'm going to show you how to use the LED baseball caps connected via Bluetooth to your mobile phone. This works on both iPhone and Android. I'm going to be showing you an iPhone. To begin with, we need to load the app on the phone. To do that, or the easiest way to do that, although not the only way to do it, is to use the QR code and to scan that. Most people have got an app for scanning the QR code, which will take you straight um, to the app and download the CAP app onto the phone. If you don't, you can download it. Um, uh, alternatively, you can uh, download it from the store directly. I'll show you that in a second. I've already downloaded the app. As you can see on my phone, it's called Magic Display. So you can download Magic Display directly, or as I said, through the QR code. I'm going to open that app to the main screen. I'm going to first of all show you how to connect to the red cap. So if I again go underneath the cap, what you'll see is right next to where the charger plugs in, there is one button. If I press that button for a few seconds, you'll see the cap comes to life. Incidentally, I can turn off the cap in the same way, although I can turn the cap off from the application, I can also hold that button down for a few seconds to turn it off as well. The cat will always go to the last text that you have programmed it to display. So now to the app. The first thing we need to do in the app is to connect to that particular cap. So I hit the connection button. You can see here that it has identified the red hat. When you first connect to the hat as we send it to you, uh, your, it will be named a unique alphanumeric uh, um, um, name. You can actually hit that name and change it to something like John's black hat or something useful. But either way, whether you leave it as the original name or change the name to connect to it, you just tick next to the right hand side and I'm now connected to that cap. So I can leave back to the main screen. Top right hand corner, you have the flashlight facility, which gives you as much light as the LEDs can provide in low light conditions see where you're going. Turn that off. There's also an ability uh, to shut down the cap after a period of time. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but the facility is there. But most importantly, hit the big button in the middle of the screen and you go to the edit screens. And here I can just change the text. So at the moment it's saying hot. Um, and I think I'll change that to just saying uppercase hello. And if I hit the big red button, the changes go to the cap. That's a bit boring. What we might want to do is we might want it to scroll to the left. So I hit left. At the bottom, we have two uh, uh, scroll bars where we can increase the rate at which the text scrolls on the cap. So I've sped it up. And also we can increase the uh, the, the the brightness of the LEDs. Um, obviously, the brighter the LEDs are, the less time the battery is going to last. But here we're uh, rotating to the left. I can change it. I can rotate to the right. I can even go up, although we probably must slow that down a little bit. There, that's reasonably sensible. Down. We can do blink, invert, although I'm not sure why we want to be upside down, but there we are. So, uh, there we go. All right. Now, although we can put whatever text we like in and scroll up, down, sideways and wherever, we also can use some of the inbuilt graphics. So along the bottom, there's the pre-built image options. So for instance, I can do some animation. Here's some hearts. Um, and we've got some hearts and arrows at the bottom. Now you get, get the idea. Now, another pretty neat facility is to get the LEDs to dance to music, uh, a bit like a graphic equaliser if you've seen one of those. So if I select the music facility, it has uh, rather embarrassingly pulled in all of the music from my iPhone. So if we listen to a little bit of Def Leppard, you can see that it is a proper graphic equaliser, in fact, and um, it's not just random. I like that, but my music probably isn't for everyone. And finally, we have quite a neat facility on the edit screen, whereas if we, at the top right-hand corner, hit palette, 
and I'll rotate my phone to make this easier, I can actually control every single LED specifically. Now, I'm not a graphic artist, so I can't do anything very clever with this, but um, if you're gonna use these caps, perhaps for corporate, you can actually get your own corporate logo and design it. Uh, top right-hand corner, you have the ability to save and recall that later. So again, I think that's quite neat. So, so far, that's really all the facilities we have for controlling one cap, but really neat facilities to be able to synchronize two together. And the way we do that is go back to the uh, first screen and then hit connection. And it will help if I turn on my second cap. So again, hold it down for a few seconds. And you can see I've previously named it Black Hat for obvious reasons. Check right hand side. I'm now connected to both caps simultaneously. And now if I hit the big central button, I can now hit the link together button, device one and device two, uh, hit the big red button. And now you will see, speed that up a little bit, as I showed you previously. There we go. And now you've got text scrolling from one to the other, going left. And of course I can use all the same options that I showed you earlier on. Oh, the right hand one has uh, run out of power on this demonstration. Oh no, there we are. And again, it's quite good. The caps, when they're running out of power, it tells you when you charge it, it will also give you that same icon that you've got on the right hand side. Either way, that's all I wanted to show you. And uh, I hope you do buy the caps to it um, from us. Uh, as I said, they're great, you know, uh, um, for supporting your team, um, for uh, uh, be that soccer or um, basketball um, or whatever. And uh, and certainly, you know, happy Mother's Day, happy Father's Day, Christmas, Easter, uh, and all other celebrations. Um, I should also add, finally that when we ship these out to you, we ship them out to you in nice boxes. So they're well protected. They will get to you uh, in good condition. Uh, we know that some other suppliers do ship them out um, in envelopes, which uh, for any baseball cap, and especially if you're a fan of baseball caps, is not great. Anyway, um, thank you very much. And uh, I hope you buy one and I hope you enjoyed the demo.